library in the world has been looking for ways to attract more people. And the Library of Congress, America's greatest treasure trove, is hoping their brand new exhibit may provide just the ticket. ABC's Danny New has details on how the exhibit plans to bring reflections of the past to life. With almost 180 million items across different formats, naturally the Library of Congress must have some pretty wild stuff, right? For the first time, the Library of Congress, the world's largest library, will have a permanent Treasures Gallery. Yes, with its new Collecting Memories exhibit, you can now see history for yourself. Like, for example, what was in President Abraham Lincoln's pockets the night he was assassinated. Dr. Carla Hayden, known as the Librarian of Congress, actually helped carefully install those items. No! A deer, <laughs> a female deer, Ray, a drop of golden sun. Also included in this collection spanning more than 4,000 years is Oscar Hammerstein's lyric sheet as he fleshed out Do Re Mi for the sound of music. But one artifact that is quite profound is the Blackwell's Kinfolk Family Tree. It's a piece of folk art that details the genealogical history of one African-American family from Virginia and features 1,500 names, including tennis legend Arthur Ashe Jr. We have a wonderful African-American family tree, the largest in the country. So they'll be able to connect with the materials and possibly think about their own creativity and use them. And that's what this really is all about. The exhibit is the first in the Library of Congress's new multi-year plan called the Library for You. They want to show folks what you can find in their vast collection. And if we break some of that down, the library has more than 8 million pieces of sheet music, more than 15 million photographs, and about 77 million manuscripts. By the way, you can find a lot of this on their website, too. For example, if you searched, I don't know, Babe Ruth, you might find this picture of the great Bambino holding a monkey at the St. Louis Zoo. So you never know what you might find and learn. Curious George, meet George Herman Ruth. And that exhibit is now open. It's in the library's Thomas Jefferson building, and it'll stay there until December of 2025 if you want to check it out. In New York, for ABC News, I'm Danny New.